Kids will soon be out of school and they have some long and lazy fun days of summer ahead of them. The lazy is about us. Plenty of parents <laughs> are wondering how to structure, to structure their kids' days to keep boredom from setting in. Counselor Kelly Olson from the Village Family Service Center in Moorhead has some answers for us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. It does get kind of tricky sometimes in the summer, um, balancing, getting everything in, but not tiring your kids out too much. Right. There's a lot of activities going on, and mm -hmm. sometimes we have several different ages, and so that means different sports, different times, different activities, and so yeah. it can get very hectic very fast. So what are the recommendations? Well, I think the, one of the first things that a lot of the parents that I see and a lot of people, my friends and stuff that I, that I talk to, the first things we do is we get down and we set, set out that whole summer schedule and you know, map it all out because uh, you can get to a point where you're just, you, you don't know what's what's happening mm -hmm. if you don't have it all mapped out. And sometimes mm -hmm. it means arranging your work schedule and stuff, and so you have to plan for that. You know, some of these oh, yeah. t-ball games and baseball games are early evening or during the day, and so um, I think it's it helps us as parents if we kind of plan that out to, so we don't kind of go crazy but then it helps the kids as well because they're not asking us every five minutes when's my game again when's my game again oh, you know yeah. and so mapping that all out and this is when you have baseball practice this is when you're gonna have gymnastics and don't forget these five items for you know just kind of reminders mm -hmm. of what the activities are and then posting it in a really kind of central location Okay, so put it in your phone and also put it on a big calendar. Right. Maybe an erase board or with a, you know, the month mapped out. Exactly. Or and, you know, some people get real sophisticated with like colors and all kinds of stuff. Color means this kid, you know, this blue or whatever. And you can do whatever you want. It could mm -hmm. be just a simple calendar off of a, a Word document or whatever and, and just putting it down and then pasting it up somewhere central. We have a couple of Facebook statements too. People who um, wrote in to let us know what, um, how they structure their summers. This one's from Terry. She says, my daughters are doing gymnastics two times a week. They have day camp one week, dance camp for three days, and one has volleyball camp for three days. Otherwise, they are at daycare five days a week. Mm -hmm. Just your comment on that. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty typical. I think, you know, a lot of kids that, that, I, that I hear about are doing the, the, the week-long camps, but then they're switching a sport and doing another camp. Uh, you know, some kids are just in the, the one kind of sport, but some kids are doing swimming lessons because it's summer. And so they'll do, you know, maybe six weeks of swimming lessons or two intensive weeks of swimming lessons and gymnastics and stuff. And, and so I just think it's really important to, to take a look at, because there's many opportunities in this community. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't know if all parents know, but we have several park districts, and, and it doesn't matter if you live in those park districts, you can actually go to those activities. And so you can engage your child in many different, you know, art-based and musicals, and it doesn't have to be sports-orientated. Um, but how much is too much? Right. Sometimes they just need time to be kids and be creative themselves. You know, right. think of, use their imagination to keep themselves right. busy. Yes. Um, and sometimes they need help remembering what they need to do to keep yeah. busy because they probably would be saying they're bored or something like that. So mm -hmm. it's important to kind of remind them of um, what they can do in, in their downtime. But, um, uh, and a lot of people will say, and teachers especially will say, that if they don't continue practicing the reading skills and the math skills, mm -hmm. that when they come mm -hmm. back in the summertime or in the, um, the fall, that they will have lost some, some skills. And so they'll push um, some kids to, you know, continue reading or practicing mm -hmm. some of those things. And I think it's important to continue doing that because you don't want to lose those skills that you've acquired. Mm -hmm. But I think it's also to be considerate of um, everybody needs a vacation. Everyone yeah. needs a vacation, yeah. yes. Okay, more tips with Kelly Olson on, on keeping your kids busy, but not too busy in the summer. Stick.